Hey, good people. Welcome to another episode of This Brother Can't Fly. Now, we're getting ready to get out of here. We're getting ready to go back to the airport and it's time for another lesson. But before we do that, I have another subscriber shout out that I want to do before we get on out of here. Believe it or not, on my last video, I did my 80th subscriber shout out. This video, I get to do my 90th subscriber shout out. I am definitely excited about that. So my 90th subscriber is Captain Osho. Hey brother, Captain Osho, thank you for the support. Thank you for your comments and supporting the channel. You guys should look out for Captain Osho's channel. He does some great stuff on his channel as well. I see him as my aviation big brother. Um, he's doing some incredible things. So Captain Osho, Thank you for the support, my brother. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go to the airport. Wingsfield, here we go. Okay, so even though it looks nice in the sky, see, you can even see the sun a little bit, that doesn't mean that there's not problems in terms of when you get up there. So apparently my flight instructor, Kyle, got a METAR. I'm gonna find out what that is. I know it's something meteorologically based, but what that means is that there's basically a lot of like strong winds, strong crosswinds, so that means it'll be very bumpy. So even though I wanna fly, you know, I definitely want to be safe and I want to make sure I get back down here on land safe as well. So I don't know if you can see the wind sock out there, but it is blowing pretty, you know, stiffly across the um, across the runway. So I think we're probably not going to be able to fly today. I'm a little disappointed, but I'm going to go in and actually do a, an official ground school. I usually start with the cockpit inspection. Okay. So we won't do we won't do it all, but like then remove the control Come off. On. That's this right here. Right. Keep that in. Okay. Um you turn the max switch, switch on. on. So you can turn it on. It's the red one, yeah. Dang this. There you go. Oh, so that comes on without the key being in. Yep, that's the master switch. That's like a hook up to the battery. Oh, ah, okay. So And then we get the flaps down. Yep, flaps down, you just push them all the way down. We'll always check it visually, but we can see we're about half tanks. Okay. Avionic switch. I say you can check the avionics, make sure they work. Okay. It works. Turn them off. Um, I don't usually hear the fan. Fan. Yeah. Enunciator panel test. We don't have one in here. That's in the newer airplanes. Okay. So. Um, avionics master switch, master switch, alternate static air. So usually I'll check the lights, so we'll flip them all on. I'll come over to your side. Okay. So what you see us doing here is we're doing something called a pre-flight check. And this is actually part of my ground school. Uh, Kyle knew that we couldn't fly, so he wanted to do a pre-flight check. So what he's doing is right now is we're looking at the lights um, and some of the other things that goes on when you're doing your pre-flight review. So beacon lights, landing lights, that kind of thing. Um, and this is very critical to making sure that the plane is airworthy, that all the systems are working correctly, um, and that everything is in proper working order. And so this is something that I will be doing every time we fly, and this is something that every pilot does every time they fly. What we do is we turn them all off, except the beacon. So we always keep the beacon on. Okay. That way, if you accidentally leave the master switch on, you at least someone might see the beacon. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I think it says, what does it say, master? Switch off. Yes, switch off. The, uh, with the lights, uh -huh. you need your nav lights on sunset to sunrise. Okay. Beacon, we usually keep on all the time. Part of your anti collision lights, same okay. as strobes. If you have them installed, on all the time. I'll have them on all the time when I'm flying. If I'm on the ground, I usually won't have them on. Okay. That way, at that time, if they're flashing, they won't blind people. Landing light, we need uh, for landing. 
if it's for hire at nighttime. Okay. So that technically this is for hire, so we need a landing light to fly at night. Gotcha. Okay. And so that's pretty much it. And then you okay. check your times and you, uh -huh. can, you can just be like, my things are down here. Okay. And the POH is in there. Actually, Looks like it holds, so right here. Oh yeah, 45 gallons. 43. Okay. And this one says, oh, that's like, it doesn't hold 40 gallons. Probably 40, might be 40 usable. Okay. 43 total. Okay. You wanna check on the top. So I asked Kyle about how much fuel the plane holds because one of the things I have to do during my pre-flight check is to check fuel levels in both of the tanks and there's tanks in each of the wings so that's what we were talking about how much fuel the plane holds so make sure it's locked. It's locked usually it's always locked but sometimes they would pop open if it's not locked so we always make sure they're locked okay so make sure that's locked yeah then we're checking the skin yeah, checking our rivets and if you ever see anything that you are questioning, just let me know. If okay. the light doesn't work, let me know. We'll we squawk it. Okay. And when you squawk it, it'll go into the computer and they'll fix it eventually. Okay. So it needs to be fixed right away, or if it's not, if the airplane's not safe to fly, gotcha. you would that. And then these edges. Check your leading edges. Got your counterweight. Counter We're not going to check our surfaces because the gust lock is in, but you can give it a little wiggle. Okay. But it's not going to move very much. Yeah, yeah. Um, Counterweight. Yep, check that counterweight. Yep, you can check your thing, make sure that cotter pin is yep, in there. And then there's a one under there that you won't be able to lift up on the trip down. Okay, yep, I see that. Yep. Uh, yep, just checking antennas. Making sure all your antennas are here. So that's a communications antenna. Okay. That's the transponder antenna. That's the DLT antenna. There's our uh, communication antennas, and the flat ones are uh, GPS antennas. Gotcha. That's a VOR antenna. Okay. Gotcha. Flaps. Way to go. Yeah. Check your uh, thing up here. Push rod. Oh, that's right. The push rod here. Yep. That aileron. I would not call it a dust lock out there. Yeah, yeah. But we'll but push normally, it yeah. Check your uh, check your lights, lights. already. Yep. Check your leading edge. Thank you for Yeah, this is clean. Okay. Check to make sure there's no brake fluid leaking or make sure make sure there's no brake fluid leaking. It'll be like orange brownish coming out of here. Okay. Gotcha. Then you can stump it here. Oh that's right. Um if you have the newer Cessnas, the other two we have, uh -huh. they will have five stumps in each side. Oh wow. And the front one underneath will have three on the newer ones. Wow. Yeah, they have like a ton of them. Wow. <laughs> So I'm just looking for water, but I don't see it. Yep. Looks nice and blue. Yep, water. If it's really dirty, sump it again. But it looks pretty clean to me. Okay. Yeah, yeah just kind of looking around. Wing strut, not just a strut. Mm -hmm. strut. It looks like a bearing. Is your mooring ring? Just to climb down. You can, if you want to check it really fast. So what you saw me do when you saw that little blue fluid in that little. Um, plastic container that was actually fluid um, that was actually gas av gas it's blue um, and you can tell the difference between the different uh, fuels based on their colors um, believe it or not jet fuel is actually clear uh, but the av gas is 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 blue so what I'm doing is I'm checking the fuel level now with this little tube device that you stick in and unfortunately the camera angle wasn't good where you'd be able to see um, that you know I think it was like 20 gallons or something like that um, but that's a couple things that you check in terms of you know the gas is you want to make sure that there's no water in it so when you sump it and that's what you saw me do and there's sumps on each side of the wing um, you see if there's water the water will I think float to the top or sink to the bottom not sure that's why i want to keep reviewing this but the water will basically separate from the gas so you'll be able to tell and here what i'm doing now is you can't see but i'm checking the oil this is something that you do at every flight 
Right. So the exhaust pipe, you just give it a little flat. Okay. Check your front, checking all your tires for pressure. Okay. Make sure they're not the flat. And then the checking to make sure the tread's good on the tires. Don't gotcha. want to blow one out. Gotcha. You got your belt there. Your belt. Always check inside, make sure there's no nest in there. Flat. Keep going while we, uh, when we're done here. Okay. Stop checking your spinner, your propeller. Make sure there's no cracks in the spinner. Make sure the propeller is smooth, no cracks or nicks or anything. Okay. Check your lane of light. Air filter's clean. Got about three fingers on the strut. That's pretty good. It's starting to get a little low. Now, if that strut is all the way down, I just let, let those guys know that something's going on there. Yeah, we can let me know. We'll tell the mechanics. Okay. They, I think there's usually something. I think they can just pump it up pretty much. Okay. Because it's like a oily, like a, oily, oily strut. So okay. Gotcha. So they were just like pumping up. Gotcha. And if you want to check this side, you can. You don't have to. Nah, I, yeah. I, just want to, <laughs> I just want to make sure. Static port. That's the stack the port. Okay. Yeah, make sure it's clear. Um, checking our leading edges. Pedo tube. Pedo tube. <laughs> <laughs> make sure that's clear. Uh, full tank vent. Make sure that's not obstructed. Oh, uh, okay. Checking the front. Start warning horn. That's not obstructed. Okay. Checking our leading edges again. Pretty much just mimicking that side with this side. Okay. We'll check our aileron. Check your flap. Do a little wiggle. And then that. Wiggle that. Give it a little kick. Nothing leaking. Okay. And something. Do you have something this side? Now oh, it's on the back there to your right. Okay, that's where that something is. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm on something now, but I just want to make sure. So two sums. Like, yeah, like I said, like three something here. I don't actually. Let me see that. Okay. There's not one under there. Okay, good. <laughs> there used to be one under there. And if there's one under there, do you sump them all? Yep, just okay. Them all. Okay. Uh, and you want to put these back in there? Yeah, we can throw those in there. So we put the pedo tube thing on? Oh, yeah, you can throw it on. They're probably going to put it inside. That's probably why you didn't. Yeah, because I see it's not tied down. Yeah, we're just flying. Okay. This is weird because of the fly. They probably didn't have uh, I put it away. Yeah. Whew. That's free okay, cool. Yeah, at first, it's gonna, you might move a little slower. We'll just fine, just take your time. Okay. Check everything real thoroughly. And then yeah, just checking everything. And yeah, if it takes you a little longer, it's not a big deal. Okay. That's how it always is. Yeah, I just wanted to go through it because it was like, I was forgetting, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. All right, cool. That'll work. <laughs> All right, cool. No, that works. Oh. Okay, so I just got finished uh, with my pre-flight and I actually had another ground school lesson. In that lesson, we learned about TFRs and some other stuff I gotta, oh. My head hurts. I'm telling you, this this flying stuff, this ground school, I'm telling it's the most important thing. One of the things that we looked at at this ground school is he showed me, like I said, these TFRs. So apparently it's something when you look at a map and it shows you different flight conditions, warning signs, things like that. And so we went out to Colorado on the map to see what those TFRs look like. And man, they were complicated. All these different codes, all these different freeze rain warnings, all kinds of stuff. So definitely glad to be exposed to a lot of this material. So at any rate, um, that was my, my, my latest and my greatest. Uh, so stay tuned for the next episode. And I thank you for all the support. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please do so um, and support the channel. I really appreciate the support that I've gotten thus far. Take care. Russ Kid is out. Peace.